Hey everyone, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. I am back again today with another card using the Birch Press Designs dies, and this time they are layering dies, and I've got the three layers here. The dies I'll be using are the Kaleidoscope Heart dies. You'll see here I have C, B, and A, and I'm saying it in that way because that's how I will lay them down so that they look layered. So the first die that I lay down, I want to have the most space I guess, covered and the least amount cut out by the actual cutouts in the die. So that's going to be C and then B on top of that, which has a little bit more cut out and then A on top of that, which has the most cut out. So you'll see here that I've got this dark red and that's going to be my layer for C. And then I've got this nice pink color in the middle and that's going to be B and my lightest color on the very top is going to be A. And that way you'll see the lightest color on top and then you'll see it go dark all the way down. So here I've die cut them out and you can see that the center of these dies cuts out as well so you can really mix and match this and get really fun and creative. I've decided to use the same color throughout but you could absolutely mix them and make a really fun design with color as well. Because I know this is going to be a fairly simple card I'm going to jazz it up a little bit by adding a little bit of texture to my card front. This is a piece of white cardstock, and this is cut to four by five and a quarter, which is just slightly smaller than an A2 size card base. And I'm going to go ahead and score it using my EK Tools scoring board every half an inch. So every half inch, I've got this score line, and you can also use the other side, which I think is really cool, and it gives a little bit more dimension as well. But I'm going to use the side that I've actually scored this time. So it looks a little bit to me like a like a paneled wall or something and I really love that look and I love that it gives a little bit more interest to the card front without adding too much. I'm already going to have a lot of layers and a lot of colors on this card front because of the layer dies but I want to make sure that I keep it interesting but at the same time very nice and clean. So you can see I've went ahead and glued the first layer and then the second layer and now I'm doing the final layer and you can see here what I was talking about before where you get that layered look of lightest to darkest. Now if I wanted to go the other way and do different colors I absolutely could do that as well or if you wanted to go darkest to lightest or a rainbow of colors that's absolutely your prerogative. I just decided to keep it like this now just to give it a nice simple look. So I'm going to use You Mean the World to Me, which is a nice small sentiment, and that's from the Lingo Thanks uh, stamp set. And honestly, I use this because you can see I kind of held it over the heart there. It's a really good length and covers the entire heart. Sometimes that's why I use the sentiments I do. I'm just going to admit that now. So anyway, <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and emboss that on a piece of black cardstock with some white embossing powder. And you can see I prepped the cardstock with a powder tool and this allows the embossing powder to only stick to the Versamark ink that I used and not all the way around the cardstock so I get those sort of flyaway embossed speckled pieces around my cardstock. I just want it to be nice and clean. So I went ahead with a paper trimmer and trimmed that down to a nice thin sentiment strip and I'm going to place some foam tape directly behind the or directly on the back of the sentiment strip and adhere that right there in the center a little bit down so that like I said it sort of spans across the entire heart and goes a little bit off on either side. Now I'm really loving the way that this turned out, but I do think it still looks really, really simple and I wanna add a little bit of something more. So I'm going to add some sparkle to the card front. So after I adhere my card front to an A2 size card base with foam tape, I'm going to take some iridescent gems and adhere them to the circle cutouts completely that go around in the center. So my sentiment strip is actually covering one on each side so for a total of two 
uh, circle cutouts that it's covering. So I'm just going to do all of the entire circles that I see. And obviously the circle itself has made a little bit of a well, the cutouts together layered make a little bit of a well. So I'm just filling that with some Tombow Mono Multi Glue and I am placing my gems right on top of that. So you can see that it gives a really nice sparkle. It looks really clean and adds a little bit of color with the way that the light catches it. And I really love the way that it turned out. These are just some really simple ways that you can add a little bit of interest to a really clean and simple card. And I know in this photo, because it's so bright, it's tough to see the lines on the card front, but you can see it there on the bottom left a little bit better. But in person and in real life, it looks really, really nice and uniform and clean and simple, but with some interest and pops of color added in there. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. If you're interested in seeing the coordinating blog post, please refer to the description where the link is and also the links to the products used today. Thank you so much for stopping by and I will see you again very soon. Thank you. Bye.